Hello guys, welcome back to Fitness For You. I know it's been a while, but uh, we have been solely focused on training off for Nordic Race and uh, this is what we have been doing. So, this video will be all about all random stuff of what we have been doing for preparing ourselves for Nordic Race. So, enjoy! Why is it so important to get up early? Some of y'all don't want it. That's why you ain't got it. I don't sleep when I'm tired. I sleep when I'm done. The average millionaire wakes up at 4 a.m. So it started off 4 o'clock in the morning where I'd start and I'd start with my cardio, then I'd have breakfast, and then I would go to the gym, and then I'd go to work. Some of y'all have no idea what 4 a.m. looks like. Why would you not wake up at 4.30? because you're too busy sleeping in. I'm pretty sure I wake up earlier than all of you. We don't sleep when we're tired, we sleep when we are. <laughs> too busy hitting the snooze button multiple times. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. And if we can really be honest, some of y'all don't even go to bed until about 4 a.m. If you can get up before the rest of the world is awake, right? Before the enemy's awake, you can get so much done. You're so much more productive. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Wake your ass up. And then they ask me, well, why are you up so early? <laughs> Take responsibility to make your life happen. Awaken the beast inside. Wake up at 4 a.m. So I begin to tell myself, there must be a reason. When you have something to do, when you have someone to love, when you have something to look forward to, when you get up in the morning, see people who have something to look forward to don't need an alarm clock because they have a reason for being. You, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, then you have to pay your dues to get there. You've decided that you're not going to allow your circumstances to define you. You've decided that you're not going to allow the events, the things, the people, life, determine who you become. You got a problem with your life. You got a problem with your environment. Do something about it. If you want more freedom in your life, you have to have more discipline. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. You decided that you're not gonna go through life being a whiner, being a complainer, that you're gonna take responsibility for what it is that you want to create. The greatest ability that God has given humankind above the animals is the ability to choose. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you life is gonna be Ron Howard happy days every day. It's not gonna be that way. Matter of fact, it's probably gonna be the opposite. You see, the enemy is gonna throw everything he has in his toolbox at you. Now he can't stop you himself, but his objective is to get you to stop you. This message is for the struggle, for all those going through trials and tribulations. People in this world are gonna fool you, disappoint you, turn their back on you. The closest around you are gonna give up on you. And when things hit the fan, everybody's gonna run. You're gonna look around and you're gonna be all alone. I'm just keeping it real with you because somebody out there needs to hear what I'm saying. This ain't a motivational video. Man, this is life. This ain't no game to me and I know what you're going through. And I'm going to speak life into you right now. Nothing, listen to me, nothing can stop you. God will never leave you nor forsake you and that is all you need. 
There's a power inside of you that you can only discover when you are truly alone. Just as the waves on a beach shore come in and out, people will do the same. Relationships are like music and you should never make music when anybody who doesn't understand, appreciate, and value your lyrics. Sometimes you just gotta let these people go. You gotta know your worth. Sometimes you just gotta let them people go. You gotta stop chasing people who don't appreciate you. Sometimes in this life, champion, you gotta remind the world just who you are. And you don't do this by telling them with your mouth. You tell them with your actions. You make your actions speak loud and proud to who you are. Don't let the world convince you that you're a nobody. You're somebody who just don't know it yet. Do you hear what I'm saying, champion? I'm speaking to the champion in you. Rise, champion. I saw myself as the weakest person God ever created. I was just a scared kid. I got called nigger every day of my life growing up, um, lived in a small town. One of the high ups in the KKK, son, sat behind me in two classes, so he called me nigger all the time. I got my first car, they spray painted nigger, we're gonna kill you on it. So I was just an insecure, scared kid. And I wasn't going anywhere, and I was exactly what everybody said I was gonna be which was nothing. But the best thing that happened to me, no one helped me. No one felt sorry for me. So the things that we run from, we run from the truth. We're running from the truth, man. As painful and as brutal as it is, we have the ability to go in such a space. If you're willing to suffer, and I mean suffer, your brain and your body, once connected together, can do anything. The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer, to grow. To grow, you must suffer. I wanted to change to be the hardest man ever created. And my goal when I was sitting there, not going to school, being bullied, having no self-esteem, my goal was the only person that's gonna turn this person around is me. How? That's the question, how are you gonna do that? I had to build calluses in my brain, the same way I built calluses on my hands. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. Motivation comes and goes. When you're driven, whatever's in front of you will get destroyed. I signed up for this race, it's called the San Diego One Day, where you run around a one mile track for 24 hours to see how many miles you can get. My goal was 100 miles. Um, I got to mile 70, but I was done. My feet were broken, I was stretch fractures, shin splints, muscles were tearing, I was in bad shape. I was out of it. I was in the worst pain in my entire life. I was, to me, on the brink of death. In times of suffering, what we do is we forget how hard we really are. Because that's what suffering is. Suffering is a test. It's all it is. Suffering is the true test of life. I said to myself, who on this fucking earth would still be going right now? You are. I got to mile 81. And the second she said that, I'm not going to make the time. I ran the last 19 miles nonstop. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happens tragic in life. I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one, so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me. Because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just gonna crumble. We are all great. No matter if 
if you think you're dumb, no matter if you think you're fat, no matter if you are fat, no matter if you've been bullied, or no matter if you just got back from Iraq or Afghanistan, and you have no legs or your arms or whatever, man, we all have greatness. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get your butt up. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. Right now, for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not going to find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. And that means you gotta be quiet. Shut the fuck up, go in a room, stop talking, search your soul, search your mind, search your abilities, and you'll find it. But if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. So you gotta go start your journey. I think that among the things that prevent us from acting is the fear of failure. And if you've already failed, you don't want to fail again. The pain of that, the disappointment. Many of us don't act because we want other people's approval. We want everybody to like us and to accept us. We're settling for less than what we actually deserve. We don't feel good about it, but we make it work in our minds. We'll come up with some kind of excuse to make it all right. Most people like to feel like they're a king in the area of their comfort zone. They only want to do those things that they know how to do well. So there are many reasons why we don't act. There are other things though that affect us is that not wanting to take personal responsibility. We want somebody else to do it, and that's not possible. And when you go through life like that, something in you dies. You need to start asking yourself some questions. What do I really, really, truly want? Don't wait around for things to be just right. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Don't wait for the ideal situation. It will never be ideal. The day this opportunity you have, it might not be here next year. It might not be here the year after next. It might not be here the year after that. This is the only moment you got. And what you will find, that when you decide to act, when you decide to take life on, and let me warn you, it can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. Never be satisfied with yourself. Always know that as you invest the effort and time on you, that's the greatest ability that human beings have above animals. See, a dog can't be anything but a dog. A tree can be anything but a tree. Human being, you've got unlimited potential. You can put effort on you, and by concentrating on you and developing you, you can transform your life wherever you are right now. Many people will leave the universe without a trace. No one will know they were here. What will you leave? What will be different because you came this way? Listen to that still small voice within you. 
Don't try and make everything logical. There's some things about life that defies logic. See, there's some good out there for you in the universe that has your name on it, and nobody can get your good. It has your name on it. They can't take your stuff. It's your stuff. So when you know that, when you know that whatever you're seeking, it's also seeking you, you don't worry. You don't run scared. You don't think somebody's going to take it from you. to say yes yes to my dreams yes to me yes I can make it yes I can you don't need anybody to approve your dream it was given to you if they can't see it it's because it wasn't given to them. It was given to you. You're gonna get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination, and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you. I refuse to be denied. And I'm gonna go all out. I'm going to be relentless. I don't care how many no's I encounter. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeat. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes! Yes! Yes, I can! Nothing is impossible. The only thing that's impossible is what you make impossible. So I need you to understand that it's not going to be an easy road. But I'm telling you, if you're willing to put in 120%, if you're willing to go all in, you can take that which was once impossible and make it possible. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary that you go for what is yours in the universe. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. It's you. It's on you. You got to make that happen. Nobody's going to bring it to you on a silver platter and say, here's your dream manifested. No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it. I want you to hold on. It may not happen in the time that you think is going to happen, but I want you to know something. If you quit, it's never going to happen. If you quit, if you give up, if you stop, if you do not persevere, listen to me, you will never see it. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution is you. What do you need to know to be, to do, to have what you want that you don't know right now? What do you need? And so I'm asking you this question. You got to get this one. What do you need to know that you don't know right now? What information, what books do you need to read? What, what mentors do you need? What circles do you need to hang around? See, if you know what your life work is, I encourage you to start working on it. If you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. And you've got to actually go in a room, close the door, and you've got to see yourself doing it. You've got to feel yourself doing it. You've got to actually walk in it. You've got to go in the future, live it out, come back in the present, and start working toward it. Promise me this five to ten minutes that you will devote to seeing yourself being successful. And so 
I need you to do this for me. Like, I don't care what happens in your life. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care where you are. Every single day you wake up, if you're going to have energy, if you're going to have passion, if you're going to have drive, every day you wake up, you've got to start with that vision. It may not happen in six months, it may not happen in a year, it may not happen in two years, but at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. Every single day, we're not waiting for it to happen. We just don't have sight. Sight is for people who live in the present. We have vision. We're going to make it happen before it happens. You gotta write even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. Everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching and you're saying to yourself, you can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked, you were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. You have to know that this thing is going to work.